Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and this video is about tattoos. Okay, so maybe something here like this you see here. This is a low poly mesh, and here when you press at the bottom inspect, you see here uh, the texture, and here here is your dragon baked on the UV map of the character. So maybe we choose the other part here. Um, the uh, easy way is here um, you can use the mask tool. So I turn symmetry off and I mask here a part of the mesh. So maybe here um, or maybe here. So let's place it on the breast. So here you see this mask here and in the mask settings you can choose shell thickness zero and extract this part. So here in the solo view you see now this. The main character we can clear the mask so this is version 185, so it's a little bit different, but it works the same in 184. So here, this is our solo view. So sorry, there's a layer. I, I delete this layer, so I don't, I don't need it. Um, and here in the MISC menu, you uh, find here um, uh, the UV unwrap option here, the normal UV unwrap and the UFF, UV unwrap BFF option here. So if you don't have it, um, look at the um, debug menu and add BFF UV. So press. So now you see your UV map. So you see it's a square canvas here and now it's possible inspect off to place here um, uh, image so I choose this dragon here and make sure that the image is a transparent uh, with a transparent background a PNG file so Here you see here um, the mesh is absolutely flat to the other mesh. So um, I turn here the outline on, then we can see here the mesh. So when you use here the pivot option at the left side and you tap with your finger here on the, on the mesh, you can give it a little bit a, a small distance, sorry, not this way so deselect the pivot and now you can move this here so only a small offset so now you can see it all the time so you see here your dragon and here in the settings of the color map you can rotate your dragon so bring it in the right orientation here like this and you can um, translate or move it here in, in place maybe like this and so it's a little bit and scale so till it fits here in the correct position like this here So now you have your dragon in place and you see the resolution here. This is um, yeah, the image here on, on this uh, thing here. And when you select now the main body and you want to bake it to the main body here. So the baking option and the color slot here. And 
here you need a high resolution here uh, about 4000 and so so i press here bake from high res so like this and um, then when i hide the the other mesh so it's baked on the main body so you see here um, in the inspect option now your texture is baked to the main uv map so so when i press undo a few steps you see here it disappears and when i press redo so it's here so the other option is here um, to use um, the insert tool here this is a normal insert tool so you can choose here plane the plane and um, maybe place here ah sorry i go a step back you see here this problem here here so i i undo a few steps so and i select this one here solo view so here in the material settings make sure here that two-sided is off this option here so now when you select the the body and bake from high res the dragon appears but the backside is okay so this is a two-sided option so okay and the next thing is here with the insert tool here you can choose the insert tool and the plane here and place here a plane so we can resize it a little bit and adjust it here in the direction so i turn the wireframe on and give it a little bit uh, of a distance and in fact it's so you can validate this object and you can place here texture here again the dragon so and you can place it where you want like this and for this um, plane here you can use here the reproject option here so here reprojecting and here you can choose only the vertices and when you press now reproject the plane is reprojected on the on the body here so i go a step back and uh, we can change here um, we can reset or the ray bias you can change a little bit maybe to um, 60 percent let's check it so it's a little bit better yeah this uh, here the settings you you have to play a little bit with the cage radius and and so on and um, the ray bias what's the best thing here um, we can try again um, maybe 70 percent yeah it's okay but not perfect um, I turn the cage radius off ray bias off What happens with 100%? Not good. What's the settings? 35%. Ah, yeah. Now it gets better. So 19.8%. You see it's uh, okay. 
So the same thing here, um, you can uh, give it a little bit um, of a distance. And the same thing here, uh, use uh, two-sided off and um, then select the body, MISC menu and uh, reproject, uh, not reproject, bake texture. So you see here now from high res 2, so um, this is uh, this one, hide this one and only this and select the mail but so, so yeah you only have to activate this mesh and this mesh and the other one hide this one so now when you choose here the bake option you see here from high res only one so press bake so now when you hide the other mesh the dragon is baked So here you see um, some problems. So this is uh, maybe the two-sided option here from this one. We forgot. So we check the body. Yeah. So when you check the, the, the texture here, Everything is fine baked. So that's tattooing. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.